Hey everybody, for this week's magic lesson, I wanted to talk about the land. Yes, the ground we stand in, the spirits of the land, the awareness of the land. I think I'm going there because I just got back from the most amazing trip to the UK and going throughout England and Wales to ancient stone circles and rivers and waterways and where you couldn't help but feeling it, even if you were trying. But you don't have to go all the way to the UK to feel the land and the magic around the land. You just need an awareness. Look at wherever you live. Wherever you live, that place does not feel like any other place, whether you're in the middle of New York City or New Orleans or rural Ohio or Los Angeles like myself. Every place has its own energy and signature. I think that's why, whether we're conscious of it or not, people like, I like it there. Or I don't like it there. And be aware of that. It's really good to try to hang out, live, and work in a place that you like the energy of. Um, and it does not have to have logical meaning behind it. It's like, I like cold weather and I want to live somewhere hot. Or, I, you know, I like cities and I want to live in the suburbs. Leave some of the uh, left brain logic out and feel what it feels like. But to do that, you have to be aware and you have to get actually out in nature. And again, you do not have to travel. I don't know the biggest of cities that does not have a green space somewhere, a pathway, a park. New York City has Central Park. L.A. has Griffith Park. And everywhere I travel, I have found a park or a tree-lined street somewhere. Get out. Feel the energy. If you can, and this is called earthing, and even doctors, regular medical doctors, are finding that it's literally good for your health, your blood pressure, calming and balancing your body, get barefoot. When's the last time, not when you were a kid, that you really felt the grass or the dirt below your feet? Stand there. Close your eyes. It will ground you like nothing else. It will fill you and balance you like nothing else. Because Mother Nature is Mother Nature. She actually is the first goddess. She is Gaia. Ancient Greek, she is Gaia, the mother goddess of the land, Mother Earth herself. Um, I guess she would be my biggest deity if I work with deities at all, because we are standing on her and we have to take care of her. But find the park near you. Find the elemental spirits for you. They're everywhere. Whether you believe that fairies and fae and gnomes and salamanders and sylphs are real living creatures with little wings and funny hats or the energy thereof, they are everywhere. But you have to be quiet and listen. And they will bring so much to your life, so much magic, so much mystery, so much laughter, so much peace, so much enlightenment. When's the last time you took a good walk? Take another one. And again, you can live absolutely anywhere and find a tree and some dirt or some grass, I promise. But look where you live. Look and see if there's any parks nearby you don't know about. Feel what the land feels like. See if there's something that's just down the way that you want to take a trip to and feel how it feels different. And when you do get to travel, the first thing when you get out of the airport, feel what the land feels like. Some of the strong places like New Orleans. I love the magic of New Orleans. It's all about that beautiful river going down the middle of it. She has a spirit of her own. And then you end up in Salem or then you end up, up in Ohio somewhere. Every place has its magic, but we have to pay attention. So feel the spirits of the land. You don't have to go to a beautiful stone circle in the UK, but you can. And if you do, walk it in circles. Feel the ground below you. Um, went to Stonehenge, but Stonehenge, you, you, they won't let you just take ritual for yourself. To, I went to this place called the Rolling Stones, probably the most magical place I've ever been. But then if you talk, think about Australia, I'll say the same thing. Or Greece, I'll say the same thing. But believe me, you could do it in your own backyard. You just have to feel it. Feel the energy. Feel the spirits of the land. It's around you. It will feed you. It will bless you. It will inform you. Get barefoot, hug a tree, and roll around for a while. I highly recommend it. Magic is everywhere. You are standing on it.